Andres is the president of the Canada-Colombia Chamber of Investment and Trade, and he's the voice that promotes investment and trade between Canada and Colombia. Uh, and it's a pleasure, as I said, always to have the opportunity to talk to uh, Canadian companies uh, from uh, the financial sector, from the mining sector, from the service sector. Uh, and I usually enjoy very much the opportunity to uh, be involved in these events that the Canada-Columbia Chamber of Investment and Trade uh, organizes. And this energy transition is a process that Colombia is going through, but it's a global trend that we see in, in many, many countries. And that's why we uh, believe that this is one of the golden opportunities for uh, our mining sector. And Not only. Uh, in this you know, fight, global fight against climate change, uh, we have to be conscious that mining is going to be absolutely key uh, to be able to achieve uh, the goals that we as, as, you know, as a planet have set. The fact that Colombia is now leading uh, the rank in Latin America. Uh, globally, we're the 28th um, place. Uh, we've identified 37 potential blocks. We started with four areas. Uh, they're copper prone in Cesar and La Guajira in the northern part of the country, but we've identified uh, potential for other minerals uh, also in Antioquia. As you see in the right hand side, uh, we have strategic minerals uh, that we have identified in Colombia, such as gold, copper, coal, nickel, uh, coltan, potassium, ma magnesium, iron, uranium, phosphates, and others. Also, gold uh, production is expected to increase by 18% in 2021. We also have, we're, we're also expecting uh, to increase in 1,000% in 2024 uh, in produ production-wise. So, my uh, hope, prediction, if you like, is that, yes, we'll be coming into a, uh, a commodity super cycle. Um, the commodity, the the minerals are still there in the ground, and uh, people are very, uh, are very aware of their uh, responsibilities on a go forward basis. As are the uh, the governments will be looking for uh, new sources of revenue. Hear that? Um, I think that that um, Colombia has massive potential um, for some some large copper copper discoveries. I think uh, we're we're dealing with a country that's largely unexplored you've probably only got one percent of colombia that's been explored um I, said, I think the the potential is huge i think in fact the potential is to be uh as much of a top producer in latin america as peru is uh, colombia is open for business uh, mining is an accepted part of a diverse economy here and that's important to us we can't open for business here if colombia isn't open for business when we look further down and come closer to Colombia, we see a dynamic, uh, diverse economy here that is able to support the kind of development that we want to put in place. We see government agencies that are engaged and interested and active in their participation and highly consultative with us. You know, Colombia has has a um, robust and and, and uh, a robust legal framework that I think gives us. Um, comfort and and in 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 our investment here so, i mean with everybody wanting mining and, and, and sort of being pro mining it's it's an attractive place to be that's really good to hear and i think it's all what we want to hear right a government that is focusing on its people and that is focusing on the environment and that is focusing on business doing it in the right way i think that's definitely one of the biggest uh self factors or investment factors in colombia